Okay, so today's top five instead of top ten is really annoying side characters in video games that you just want them to like go away. And do you ever look at a character and you're like, why do you exist? Yeah, me too. So let's kick off our list with one of the most annoying characters and useless characters that actually ever had the pleasure of playing with as well as actually just being in the game. Ashley from Resident Evil 4. See, a lot probably would have chose Shiva or whatever in Resident Evil 5, but I didn't play that without co-op. But honestly, there there's nothing compared to Ashley. Ashley is completely fucking useless in 4, and the moments that you had to protect her or actually use her just suck, and I hate her, and I want her to die, like, super badly. But instead, Leon just kind of ignores the horny teenager at the end and goes off to be with the president, because he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> Number four is Tales from the Sonic series. Sure, some of you love this little guy. He's furry, he smiles a lot, and he's a fox, I think so. But he's also really, really freaking annoying, and he has terrible dialogue, and really, he's so damn slow in comparison to Sonic that he's just an awful character. Who really fucking likes this character? Who? I ask you. Who? Oh man, what happened to that emerald we just had? Number three goes to my old time friend and cousin Roman. What an annoying character without any redeeming qualities. He's loud, he's annoying, he's bitchy, and whatever, whatever comes out of this guy's mouth, it's just so fucking stupid. He really is one of the most useless characters to ever grace my TV screen. I hated him the second he popped up and I hated him the second he got shot in the face at the very end of Grand Theft Auto. There are spoilers. I don't. Shut up. 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 Stop shooting people, you maniac! My wife doesn't like when people shout! Whatever! You better get those screens soon! Or I will personally pull your cousin's stitches out! One by one, and watch his gut spill onto the floor! Number two goes to another Sonic friend. His name is Big. This fat fucking cat is here because you have to play as him for a big portion of Sonic Adventures. Guess what you have to do with this gigantic cat? You fish! Okay, that makes sense. But you fucking fish with a fishing pole as a gigantic cat. And how does that make sense? You are a fucking cat. All you have to do is jump in the water and tear fish up. And instead, you're fishing with a fishing pole. I don't, I don't understand. Fuck this. Number one is easily Waka. Not Waka Waka Flame, but Waka from Final Fantasy X. Why Whitey is Waka on this list? Because he's loud. You can't understand him half the time. He uses a fucking ball as a main weapon in a fight. Oh, and did I mention his design is like ultra bad? I mean, really, really bad. Like, what the hell is up with this shit, Square? It's terrible, and I hate Waka. I really wanted him to die. But he didn't. No, he lived. He lived and probably fucked Yuna because Titus is a dream. So Waka would be the next one up. But he's a terrible character. So these are my top five awful side characters in the video game. There are so many to choose from. Uh, you know, I hear a lot of people hate the, the Legend of Zelda little creature that's like, hey, hey, that's all she says in the whole game. I understand that can be annoying. Um, and, and, you know, Dex, Daxter's on some people's list, uh, Clank, so on. Whatever, list them below, because there's plenty of horrible characters that I probably forgot about. But these top five will always be in my brain as characters I just wish, for one second, they can be here in real life so I can shit on their face and kill them. But they're not, unfortunately, and they will always be in video games and live on well after I die, and that's not fair. So, list yours below. <laughs>